the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always Namaste friends after a long time we're getting into AWS and my sincere apologies for the same I will try to be a lot more disciplined and I'll actually try to upload AWS on a regular basis going forward. But so far we learned how to actually create a static website using S3. So this is a continuation. So in today's lecture you'll be seeing about S3 versioning, what is a versioning, why we do versioning and how we can actually enable this versioning in the AWS console. We'll also be having hands-on way like always so that you can actually learn better. So let's take a deep dive. In today's lecture, we'll be seeing about S3 uh, versioning. I know it has been quite some time uh, that we actually touched the AWS, but from right from now onwards, we'll be doing it on a regular basis. So we have seen about how to actually, you know, upload in the S3, create the bucket. So that is what we have here, everything. Uh, we also created a static website uh, and we also made it actually public. Now, first, when we actually start about versioning, let's actually see what a versioning is why would you do a versioning now say suppose you actually do a code today okay and tomorrow you actually come you make some modifications now what happens if both the code becomes you make some wrong and you don't keep a backup or you don't keep a copy and you make a mistake or someone actually accidentally deletes it you lose the original and as well as whatever changes that you made or you will not know what changes you made and for what reason a versioning actually helps you in order to actually like you know um, <clears throat> uh, go away from all these errors okay uh, so the thing is you actually create a code and the code is actually saved so the next day you actually create another code which is on top of it so in this case like what will actually happen is you will have two versions of the code code 0 and code 1 uh, when the versioning is actually enabled so this is like a foolproof mechanism in order to actually safeguard your codes okay so this is why this is called versioning and we'll be seeing how to do the same in s3 versioning all right so the versioning is um, it actually writes you can you know uh, writes and even if you delete an object it actually keeps um, the version we will see how to delete and how the versioning is actually kept as I mentioned this is a very great backup tool it cannot be disabled once a versioning is actually enabled it can only be suspended and not disabled uh, and it can be integrated with any kind of a life cycle rules and the most important thing is it supports a multi-factor authentication Okay, so that is the most important thing. It supports the multi-factor authentication. Now let's actually get into this deep dive. Uh, so the versioning. So if you see here, I already have a web page called my web page static, and here I have these. Uh, you know, I have a in a JPG. I have an error. I have an index. So you know, if you guys don't know what is actually done, I've already in the previous lecture I've actually said how to create a simple website in S3. So kindly go check on that. So if you see, this is my code for that. Okay, and you would see all those things here. Um, you know so this is you know this jpg this cloud computing in social network this is the jpg so we have everything so what i'm actually going to do is here i'm going to say the same index i'm going to say version version one okay and i'm going to save it as okay i'm going to save it as the same uh, index i'm going to save it as i'm going to replace this uh, now what i'm going to do here is the very first thing if you see the properties in the properties in the bucket versioning I'm just going to say edit and I'm going to say enable okay so this I'm going to save the changes so it is only now the bucket this thing has been enabled uh, and my apologies my dog actually wants to go out it is shouting uh, but you know I just want to finish it so my, my apologies for the same um, so in this area I would again go here now it has been there so if I can actually upload I can actually take this particular thing okay this is what I did and um, I can actually upload this here okay uh, add files or add folders drag and drop files so this is this is what it is uh, so here so this has been uploaded right uh, so this has been uploaded <clears throat> and the destination the permissions uh, choose the properties the storage class we will all will be getting into that we have not or we'll get we'll be getting into all these things so let me actually upload it 
so now this is uploaded so let me actually the upload status is successful so let me actually close this um, and let me actually like you know uh, if you see here in this part um, okay in the versions if you see the versions you will be seeing uh, July 28, 2022 there was one and right now February 6 I actually uploaded the other one okay so this is the version all right um, so I can actually go here um, and in this index only I can actually see this uh, and this is the way we actually do that okay um, this is the way we actually do and if you just want to see what has actually happened so in this part see the version one initially the version one was not there but right now the version one actually happened and i actually showed you uh, how to actually uh, you know enable um, you know how to actually see the different versions so that like you know, it can actually be used for backup purposes okay so this is the version so you can see the two versions here so this is what it is um, you can delete you can delete okay but a delete as I mentioned here you can only once it cannot be disabled okay um, you have to permanently delete it okay so this is what I mentioned you can delete and you have to type in I don't want to delete but still I will actually say you can actually delete and you have to say type permanently delete to permanently delete this and I don't want that but if you actually do then the versioning is actually gone okay uh, so once a versioning is actually enabled it cannot be uh, you know it cannot be disabled it can be only be suspended so what did we learn and this is most you know very important exam concepts as well versioning is a great backup tool okay uh, it cannot be disabled it can be only be suspended it can be integrated with the lifecycle rules and it supports a multi-factor authentication all right uh, if you have any questions you know you can always contact me and i'll try to explain to the best of my abilities till we see in the next lecture you take care cheers and thanks for your time namaste friends i trust you have actually watched my s3 versioning probably you would have actually liked it if you have any questions you know whom to contact i'll actually try to help you to the best of my abilities like always, I would like to thank two persons. One is you for giving me a golden time. And other is my wife, Jayashree, following me to follow my passion. Till we see you next time. Take care. Cheers.